I'm in a Citroën Mahari. This is basically a 2CV with the body yanked off and a crazy plastic body slammed on it. This is a great off-road car, and this one even has a real four-wheel drive system. So let's take it over here and really learn about this crazy 2CV variation. So the Mahari is interesting because fundamentally it's still just a 2CV chassis underneath. But the body is what's interesting. They took off the metal 2CV body and they made a body out of plastic. Not fiberglass, just actual ABS plastic like you'd make a, a phone or a helmet out of or whatever. But underneath, it's still just regular 2CV stuff. This is just a flat twin 2CV engine making about 28 horsepower. But this one is a little bit different and the way you can tell is a little bit different. And the way you can tell is it's because it has a spare tire mounted on the on the hood, and that means this is a four-wheel drive version. So Citroen also threw in a transfer case and a rear differential. So this is actually really a capable four-wheel drive off-road vehicle. Let's check out what the inside's like. So the inside of the Mahari, like the 2CV, is really lean and really spartan, but maybe even more so in this, because everything is just cast out of one piece of plastic. It's not like there's a bunch of little dashboard parts that were really stuck on. Everything here is just cast right into the plastic shell itself. And that's kind of great for a car like this because it means everything is super easy to clean. You could just hose it out and it'd be fine. There's little door holes and the little pockets here in the doors. The seats are the lawn chair style seats of a 2CV. Really, if you want an off-roader that's easy to maintain and use, what more would you want other than this? Plus, you've got the same push-pull gear shift as you had in the 2CV, but it's also joined with a four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive knob and a low and high range selector thing. And they've all got these spherical round knobs that look like the joystick out of an old Ms. Pac-Man machine. And it just, uh, I just kind of like them. If you're wondering what this weird trapezoidal shaped piece of plastic here is, you're not alone, because it's really strange. I don't know how well you can tell, but the angle that this thing is cut at is not just straight across like you'd expect. It's at a strange angle. And there's actually another piece to this that's a mirror image of this, and together they form a bed cover. Now the question is, why did they make a bed cover first in two halves, and second, if you're gonna do two halves, why are you gonna cut the halves at this weird angle? And the truth is, I really have no idea. It's Citroen, they did all kinds of crazy things. If you're familiar with old Citroens, this part probably looks a little weird to you, because of course, Citroens are mostly front-wheel drive. The one time they tried to make a four-wheel drive 2CV, they just stuck a whole other engine in the back. This is different. This actually has a transfer case and a drive shaft to a differential here at the back. But it's still a Citroen, so it still gets to keep the Citroen quirks like inboard rear brakes. It's still pretty cool. But really, the best way to see if any of this crap actually does anything is to take it for a drive. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, so this used the regular suspension as in a 2CV, so you get the same kind of can't really roll it kind of quality of it. And it, the wheel travel is huge, so it's really good about going over bouncy things. Plus, because it was using this 2CV suspension, it was also one of the only independently suspended four-wheel drive vehicles out there. Now, I'm actually just in two-wheel drive mode right now, so let's try it in four-wheel drive mode and see if we notice anything different. So, I think I just shoved this in, and I'm in four-wheel drive mode. Let's see if we can tell anything different. Yeah, this thing really grabs though. It's pretty fun. Let's see, let's go down over here. <laughs> I mean, for a four-wheel drive vehicle, this thing works pretty easily, pretty well. I mean, it climbs up these grassy hills and it's actually kind of wet, so there's not a lot of grip, and this thing just plows right on over it. Go up the hill, woo! What do you think, Otto? It's cool. Should we just go in the neighborhood and do this with people's lawns? I don't know. They should make one of these that, that actually lawns grass, so you can just drive it around your Oh, well, we are driving yard. it on grass. One thing it does really well is the, the suspension just kind of absorbs all these big bumps really nicely. One thing I really appreciate about the Mahari is how much it makes me appreciate the remarkable flexibility of the 2CV chassis and platform. It's pretty great that the drivetrain could be converted from front-wheel drive to four-wheel drive with such relative ease, and even more striking is how much the car changes with this other body. It's pretty much unrecognizable as a 2CV. It's cheap and effective, and it just takes abuse and works. 
It's also a hell of a lot of fun to bounce around in a plastic kiddie pool on wheels. Part of what makes the Mahari so good off-road has to do with the Bonkers 2CV interconnected spring suspension. And that suspension system has one really, really weird trait that I want to demonstrate for you next. So one of the most amazing things about the 2CV and what it's kind of legendary for is that you cannot roll a 2CV. The suspension is so soft and the body will lean so much that it literally will not roll over no matter how crazy you drive it. I think someone once proved if you go backwards you can actually get it to roll over but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play it safe because I'm confident no matter how many donuts I do, no matter how hard I crank this wheel, I will not roll this car over. I think it'll look crazy and it'll feel like I'm going to fall but it won't ever really happen. So, let's put this theory to the test. Although I think it's more than a theory. I think this is pretty well proven, but I'm gonna test it personally, because that's the only way I understand anything. All right, let's give this a shot. We're gonna start off kind of slow. Keep in mind, I've only got like, like 29 horsepower on tap. Oh God, it feels like I'm gonna flip. Ah, oh, it feels so scary, fuck. Oh my god, it feels like I'm gonna flip, but I'm not flipping. I'm even on an incline and bumpy. Whatever magic black arts Citroën's using, please help me now. Don't roll, French gods. Ugh. God. Okay. I feel like I feel like we did it. I feel like we proved you actually can't roll a 2CV. Oh god. These are crazy bonkers little cars and I have a good feeling we're going to be seeing more crazy bonkers little 2CV stuff soon, very s soon. Oh. Oh, oh god. Whew. Oh God. Uh, uh, I'm okay. I'm not okay. Okay. 